Hi everybody, it's January 28, 2018, so today the buzzing, the tinnitus, <clears throat> is so loud, driving me crazy, in a lot of physical pain, um, just feeling absolutely exhausted, but the buzzing is so loud, even while I'm talking to you right now, well it used to be that I could engage myself in something, and I wouldn't hear the buzzing, but now during the day, it is so loud that I'm even hearing it while I am talking to you guys. And the these high-pitched tones that sometimes it feels like this needle jabbing me in the ear, one ear or the other. Today it's the left ear. Um, it's raining out. I know that our weather is manufactured. This is not Mother Nature. And because the buzzing is so loud, I thought, I've got to come and see what's going on. Oh, ultra-low frequencies being set off in Colombia. Oh, ultra-low frequencies set off set off in the oh, Greer area, the in between uh, the cities of Spartanburg and Greenville, Columbia, and those cities, Greenville, Spartanburg, South Carolina, the Columbia, this is a pretty intense uh, setting off of frequencies, reaching way into North Carolina. How are you guys doing in North Carolina in this area? Harrisburg, Clear Creek, New London, Monroe, Matthews, around Charlotte, around Charlotte. But we also have ultra-low frequencies being set off in Tennessee, Morristown, Jefferson City, White Paint, white pine, um, all of these faded green lines that are, it looks like Mother Nature has taken a ruler to the precipitation to um, make light the rain in just this area, a very defined area. Now, these are the frequencies being set off and it gets to you. Those of you who are sensitive to these frequencies and understanding the cumulative effect of the frequencies, all of the ripples right here, okay, um, how are you guys feeling? How are you feeling? It, this, is, this is really very hard to take when, when you are, you're sub- to other human beings deliberately harming you. But these frequencies coming out of Columbia, South Carolina are very, very intense. So when I saw this, yeah, I'm not surprised that the buzzing should be so loud today. This whole rain is manipulated by man, not Mother Nature. You go to the satellite and you can still see the frequencies. The sawed off, it looks like a sawtooth saw. Just right on the outer bands of this cloud substance, manufactured cloud substance. Geoengineering that some actually believe that it's not even occurring yet. It's not, but those geoengineers, well, they're going to save the Earth. Don't you understand? Don't you understand that this has been going on for decades, only getting far more intense, has increased the operation, the deployment of the geoengineering has become so regular that man has usurped Mother Nature. You can see all of the bands right over here. All of those bands, all of those um, breaks in the cloud substance, that's caused by frequencies right here, Topeka, Kansas. And the geoengineering boy, you know, whether it is the United States or it's the UK 
Ireland so often. I can't even see Ireland. Wow, I get to see you today. I get to see some of you in Scotland. And check it out. Very often, I can't even see Scotland, England, Ireland at all. Right on down. You're all covered up by chemtrails. But, of course, you guys on uh, the north, in the north, the Pacific just being hit hard. So obvious. You can see all of the, the grid patterns. You look closely, you can see the grid patterns. That's not how Mother Nature works, guys. And all of this toxic dump all over the world. But in the satellite, you can see the frequencies. Um, but yeah, you guys up here, Washington and Idaho, Montana, you still have your ultra low frequencies that are being set off. And that just seems to be like a regular happening for you guys now. And when I posted these videos asking people how they feel living in this area, you've got the ultra low frequencies that do, do seem to be continuous. Um, though I'm not continuously staring at in telecast, but every time I come on, there they are. Your ultra low frequencies north of Everett, right there. Very clear, very obvious. Ultra low frequencies, they can span out completely. Um, they can target a very large radius. Here you have concentric bands, more frequencies. Again, I posted a video just a couple of days ago and you had what we used to refer to as harp rings in, in virtually the same exact area and yet you also had earthquakes in close proximity to all of these frequencies being set off and we know that these frequencies can induce earthquakes. But it's not just um, Jesus. Not just in Washington. Here they're being set off once again just north of Colbert or Spokane, uh, Spokane, affecting a huge area as well. All of these straight bands right here, man, not Mother Nature. You get squares like that, man, not Mother Nature. More ultra low frequencies being set off north of Missoula, Montana. Very dangerous frequencies. Unfortunately, we are. We get to live subject to incredibly evil, psychopathic, crazy, crazy people. So how are you guys feeling? I hope, I hope that I can hear that you're all doing beautifully. But don't lie. Don't lie. I don't like lies. I want to hear the truth. How are you doing? You guys in this area. Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina.
Wow. Yeah, I get a lot of comments from people who say, you're just preaching to the choir. I know that. Sometimes I just need to post videos and talk to you guys. This is abject insanity, cruel insanity that we have to live today. I get an awful lot of comments from people who say they are not feeling well, and they do share their life experience and their experience today, and they are sensitive to the frequencies, and they're not happy campers, nor should they be. <laughs> Nor should they be. You know, you have this war going on that has, unfortunately, depleted from so many of us all of the resources that we used to have to find joy and happiness and all that kind of stuff. And it's been robbed from you. Robbed taken from you. So those of you who are angry and then you you apologize for your ang anger, you know, when I when you leave comments, don't even apologize. You have every right to be angry. You have every right to feel, you know, whatever it is that you feel. And yes, I do know that when you hear from other people, their experience, and if you can identify and your experience resonates with somebody else's experience, then there is a solace that you can get. It's not that, oh, misery loves company. It's just knowing that you're not crazy and that you're not alone because so many of us are alone in this and the only the only resource that people now have a lot of people now have is the internet to find people in the cyber world that they can relate to so yeah you know I'm not happy looking at all of these frequencies being set off from so many different areas in you know targeting this entire area the intensity of these low frequencies, these bands all over the place, that that can cause an awful lot of problems for all of the people who live right here. Anyway, guys, leave a comment below. Let me know how you're doing. And <laughs> I hear myself saying, ciao, ciao. I'm going to sign off now as this Italian Jesuit agent simply because I say ciao. Ciao.